I was in a crib and two adults were yelling. But my mom came in the crib and was like, it's okay. And my mom, I can remember my mom crying. So my very child, earliest memory as a human is instability. My dad was like a big, he was a pro bodybuilder. He was a big, strong guy. And I would tell people about my dad like he was still in my life. I never told them, because they'd be like, well, where's your dad? And I'd be like, oh, he's busy, he can't come. But the truth was, he was, didn't care that much. My mom says, Ty, when I was pregnant with you, the FBI kicked down the door with guns, put guns in my face, took your dad away, and brought him across the country to Terminal Island off Long Beach. Um, I remember it was my birthday. My dad, when he got out of prison, he, he just stayed in Long Beach. But for that birthday, my dad's like, I will drive down and take you out to dinner. And he said he'd be there at like 5 p.m. and she had to go to work. She had a night shift job. And she's like, okay, your dad will be here soon, so I'm gonna leave you at the house alone. So I sat there, I was kinda on the couch, and I remember waiting for my dad. And it was like, 5.30 came, nothing. Six, nothing. We had a home landline, I'm like waiting for the phone to ring. Seven, eight. I remember being like super sad going, but you're a little kid, so you're like, oh, I have hope. Like, he's still gonna come, he's just late, he's just late, he's just late. I don't remember how long it was, but my mom said she came home at midnight. I was just asleep, like literally like on the couch, just like looking out the window, and he never came. And so I remember that being There's one page and it said, all greatness starts with failure because when you succeed, you party. And when you fail, you ponder. And all greatness comes from pondering your situation. And I remember thinking, that's what I was doing last night on the couch. I was like pondering, like, what did I do wrong? And, and I made myself vulnerable to the fact that maybe I did make mistakes. Maybe I had to change my life. Maybe I had to listen to different people. Maybe I had to try a new path. You know, Einstein said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, but expecting different results. And I'm like, Ty, you're being stubborn. So after I read that book, I was like, I'm gonna try something new. So I went back in that mobile home. I found a Yellow Pages. And I remember flipping through it, going to the financial section. And there was this full page ad by this guy, Mike Stainback. It said Stainback Financial Services. And I kind of pretended, I didn't lie, but I kind of pretended I was coming there to be a customer. And I get to the place and I'm like, I'm Ty, can I speak to your boss? And I'll never forget, he was sitting in like this like um, big like lazy boy chair and he had this big mustache. He looked like Tom Selleck. I wanted to be super honest with him. I said, listen, Mike, you don't know who I am, but I know you must be successful because you got a full page ad in the yellow pages. That's all I know about you, but I know that costs a lot of money. If you teach me what you know about making money, I'll work for you for free. 
and he was sitting like in this chair and he was I was talking to him this way and he was sideways and he just slowly pivoted his chair you know I've been looking for someone like you for 20 years you come back in the morning and I'll set you up with your own office and you can work for me and I promise you if you listen to what I'm gonna say one day you'll hug my neck and he did have an office but what he had done was he cleaned out a closet with no windows and he had put a desk that's where all the filing cabinets was and I sat down on the chair and he plopped down scar tissue that that just paralyzes you or at some point you go the cars didn't weren't dealt for me like I wanted and so I'm gonna go recreate those cards and that's what mentors were for me and I think for every person you got a different path that you have to do I just spoke on this subject that I think is like the ultimate puzzle piece you get this down most of your problems go away I call it the law of 33 percent basically you should spend 33 percent of your day around people who have not accomplished what you've accomplished yet. You can help them, like you mentor them. For good or bad, today I control my own destiny.